Make your predictions, dogs. It's Groundhog's Day. Will there be six more weeks of winter, or will spring be right around the corner? Either way, you're watching Hot Dog Network. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, Frankfurt. It's Friday? For lunch today, lines one and two will have orange chicken, line three, soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup, line four, extravaganza with biscuits and sausage, and line five will have four by six assorted pizza. A happy birthday today goes out to Kaylee Brandenburg. Now to weather with Mo. It's currently nine outside and it feels like negative five if you factor in the wind chill. In here, it feels like a little bit above negative 459. Today we're gonna to be looking at a high of 22 and a low of 16. Lots of sunshine today, so uh, get out there and freeze your skin while getting a sunburn. On an unrelated note, I'm trying out a new aesthetic. You guys like it? It's Mo. The Andy Scholarship is now available for grades 7 through 11. The deadline to sign up is March 2nd. Also, the FEF General Scholarship is also open. The deadline to sign up is February 17th. For more information, go to frankforteducationfoundation.org. Good luck to all band and orchestra students who will be participating at Solo and Ensemble District Contest tomorrow at Kokomo High School. There will be a FAFSA completion night Tuesday, February 6th from 4 to 7. This will take place here at the high school in room 150 on Tuesday. This evening is totally focused on getting the FAFSA completed and submitted. Please bring any necessary tax documents and sit at a computer to receive step-by-step -step assistance. Flu season is here and Ms. Harshman wants you to know the steps to fight the flu. This is a great video to keep you informed. The link will be in the, in the description box below. Big broadcast is coming up next week, February 8th and 9th. Mark your calendars for the greatest night of your life. Big broadcast tickets will go on sale Monday in the bookstore. Tickets are $5 for all ages. Don't miss out. SAD will be selling Valentine's animals February 5th through 9th during lunch outside of the cafe. The animals will be $2 a piece and will come with a card. Buyers will receive a small thank you candy at the time of the purchase. Now here is a, video, a short video from SAD. Hi guys, we're going to talk about like a project that I heard you guys were doing about drug awareness. Can you tell me which uh, project you guys chose? We're doing a table at lunch selling out brochures and we're doing posters for mm -hmm. people to come look at. Alright, and why exactly did you guys choose posters? We chose posters because people sometimes come and look at them. Good point. Everybody likes a good poster. And uh, what drug do you think most impacts this town? Heroin. And why do you think that is? Because in the state of Indiana, more people have overdosed on doing heroin than any drug. Alright, and what exactly is going to be at the table today? We're doing brochures, some, some facts about drugs, um, what else? Alright, and when is exactly what's the table going to be out there again? Today at lunch during all periods. Alright, sounds great. I'll make sure to come by and check that out. Have a great day, guys. You too. Thanks, Sad. On Saturday, February 17th, we will be honoring the first class of FHS NHS alumni into the Hall of Fame. We would love for you to join us at 2 p.m. for the ceremony and also spread the word to family, friends, and past FHS alums. Now to sports with Mo. Looks like I've memed too hard this time. I've shattered the fabric of reality and uh, kind of stuck like this. I apologize to your retinas, so uh, just let's get into this. Congratulations to the following girl swimmers who moved on to Saturday's sectional finals from last night. 200 medley relay, ninth, 50 freestyle, Patience Dean, fifth, 100 freestyle, Patience Dean, ninth, Andy Giebel, 13th. 200 free relay, eight, I apologize for this, 100 backstroke, Stroke Andy Giebel, 11th, 100 breaststroke Aubrey Teeter, 13th, 400 free relay. N names are not listed for some of these. The boys basketball team fell last night at Danville, 53 to 76. The team gave up 19 points in the first quarter and 24 in the second. 
They did a nice job getting themselves going in the third and fourth quarters, winning the half by a score of 34 to 33. The team will continue to work to make progress on both ends of the floor. The JV team struggled all night following 26 to 78. The team was unable to get stops or finish possessions with first shot rebounds. Braden Compton played a solid all-around game while playing with great effort. The teams return with three games next week against Western Boone, North, Mo North Montgomery, and Hamilton Heights. Back to the studio. Thanks, Mo. A couple of final announcements. Monday will be mismatch day, and that will be the first day of Spirit Week next week, so don't forget. Now, for the moment you all have been waiting for, the results for Winter Homecoming Court are in. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen them yet, so this is a first for all of us. So, I'll do the honors. Congratulations to the following seniors for being nominated to Winter Homecoming Court: Megan Alba, Tara Chandler, Annie Giebel, Jessica Munoz, and Connie Tovar. Also, for the males, Umberto Aguilar, Colton Crum, Noah Debris, Preston Hillman, and Dylan Shelley. There will be a mandatory meeting for all court nominees after school today in the cafe. Congratulations, everyone. That's it for the daily announcements. Have a good weekend.